So in this video, you'll see me coaching one of my clients that I had recently. Um, and it's going to be like a series of videos, so there'll be different parts to it. So this is obviously part one. Um, so this was obviously a long, long session. We, I think I was with this client for like eight hours or something. So it was a really long session, very intensive session. And so yeah, we were going out in London, working on all his weaknesses, approaching lots and lots of girls. Um, so I'm going to just obviously show you, I guess, the highlights of it really. Um, the, the thing with this client was that he was actually very, very confident, unlike, unlike most of the clients that I've had so far, who obviously struggle with uh, the social anxiety aspect of it and the fear, overcoming the fear, that sort of thing. So his name is uh, Rida, and um, he was a bit different to most of the clients that I've had in the past because he, I'd say he's quite extroverted and he's very, very confident and he's a really good speaker. So he already had that massive, massive advantage. Um, so yeah, he was able to just go in and approach girls without any real problems, he didn't experience too much fear. He was a bit nervous at the beginning of the day, but he didn't really let that affect him too much and um, yeah, overall he was, yeah, he comes across really confident. Um, so yeah, we spent most of the time kind of working on actually doing the approach. It was more, it was a lot of it was actually, you know, the physical side of things were actually, you know, doing the approach. And um, and then obviously the conversation itself, working on that, you know, to trying to build attraction, that sort of thing. Um, and yeah, he, he had uh, he was a really really good student. So yeah, check it out. You're, you're feeling kind of okay right now. You're not yeah. too not too nervous. Fairly relaxed. Stay from one to ten, let's say six maybe. Six. Nervousness. Okay. Five, six. Yeah. So obviously we're not going to dive straight into it. We're mm -hmm. just going to kind of keep it cool for now. Yeah. Just uh, you know, um, okay. let's, let's warm yourself up. Yeah. Okay. Um, so just remind me, um, you haven't, have you done any like cold approach before? You haven't done... Uh... No, the, uh, I think when I was 20, once I approached a girl, like kind of bar or something, but yeah. she was kind of looking at me, so it wasn't like... Okay, so it's like you know, an so almost... I went just like a... Hey, Semi-warm you know, like, yeah, approach. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, what I've done about two weeks ago, or three weeks ago, I went to Cambridge. I just wanted to see for myself the reaction, so I yeah. just went. I uh, didn't did a cold approach, but I just like complimented, like... I've, when, yeah. like two hours or something just walking around I would see like a really beautiful woman I would stop her like hey yeah. excuse me or something no, I just yeah. wanted to tell you you look really nice so that's brilliant that that's already day. a really good start because <laughs> yeah. you've had some experience I mean yeah. that's like you've done the hard part almost yeah, yeah, yeah. in terms yeah, of actually yeah. doing the approach so mm. so yeah but I just uh, have to have a good day and then yeah. I left I didn't actually stay sure. then after I wanted to and I got courage but it got too cold so <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah so it was already like five o'clock so I yeah left, so, okay yeah. Well, okay, so just to warm ourselves up for now, okay. um, we're going to just do a thing where I'm just going to go up, you're going to be right next to me, I'm just going to go up and say some, to, a compliment to someone. All right. So you'll be right, right there okay. just for the first one, and then obviously I'll get you to do it a bit right. later. Okay. Uh, but we can obviously ease into it. Um, let's go this way. Uh, in terms of Definitely. picking up girls, yeah. or, uh, to be I honest, where I've seen it, something like yeah, you always wear like leather jacket. No, blah, blah. it's a load of yeah. crap. I mean, mm. there's no rule where you have to do something. Yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously, fashion is semi-important to yeah, some extent. Course. Let's just go up to this girl here and just give her a compliment. I'm going to give her a compliment. Don't you just just watch me how I do it? Hey, excuse me. So I just wanted to say you two are really beautiful looking. That's all I wanted to say. Yeah. See you later. See, it's just a bit like. Thank you, and that's yeah. it. So, would you be comfortable doing something like that now? Yeah. I'll be right next to you, so it's just like, for example, her. Just say she looks really nice. Hey, excuse me. Just wanted to tell you, you look really nice today. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Bye bye. Yeah. So it's just like you get such a positive reaction, yeah. and it's like you feel more socially lubricated. Yeah, you feel yeah, better yeah. within yourself, and obviously mm -hmm. you're making her day as well. Yeah, this is a good way to get warmed up if you mm -hmm. feel that it's helpful for you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So let's just do that a couple more times, just to really. For example, this girl walking here just now. Which one? This one here, just say she looks really energetic and nice. Hello, just want to tell you you look really energetic today. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> she did look quite energetic. Yeah. <laughs> Not that beautiful, but okay. I don't think she understood it, but she still appreciated yeah. it. So well, she good. answered the same words, so I think she got something. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but she appreciates the sentiment. That's, yeah, that's yeah. the most important thing. 
um, and yeah, it's just you know, it's just a great way to do it really. Mm -hmm. And you just it, it's, it's helpful for the guys you know watching on the camera as well yeah. because they get, they can see that you yeah. know if you just say something positive to someone that you know mm. all that's the only thing that's going to happen is something positive you know there's yeah. no she's there not going to no, bite yeah. your head off that, she's not going to kill you yeah that's why i've done it like it's two weeks ago yeah. okay, to see for myself like what's actually happening on just you know exactly and it's just answer. it's yeah. just it feels good you feel yeah. good as well yeah. for doing it yeah. and just a great, a great way just to remove the initial fear mm. and you know get rid of the, the nervousness that yeah. you're obviously going to be experiencing mm. right at the beginning yeah. let's see um, yeah, these two come in here, yeah. just say they look nice today, both of them. Excuse me, excuse me, just want to tell you you look really nice. Yeah, <laughs> so it's great, it's just yeah. very, just a positive intervention, yeah. small one. So now what we can do is, mm -hmm. um, what I want you to do is, with me next to you, okay. I'll, basically you, you do the same thing, just say she looks nice, mm -hmm. and then just follow up something afterwards. D doesn't matter what it is, All right. just try to ask a question. Or like, you know, okay, yeah. what are you up to? Yeah, or yeah. what's your okay. name? But oh, don't worry about don't worry about getting her number. Don't worry so about just, like, yeah. just whatever. Just mm. completely freestyle it. Okay. Because again, we're just trying to be in the comfortable stage, getting right. you comfortable. Okay. And I think for now. So just ask her name. That's it. And... Yeah, or where she's from, or anything like that. Just uh, however much or however little you want. Okay. And don't worry if she walks away. Don't worry if she turns away from you. Don't worry about her reaction. All right. And you can leave the interaction whenever you want. Okay. So don't worry about anything. Just completely freestyle it. All right. Later on, we'll uh, you yeah, know, develop yeah. a bit more yeah. of a structure. But just for now, mm -hmm. just to get mm -hmm. into a bit more of a comfortable uh, All right. phase. Let's spot someone nice then. She's really hot, but she's walking. But I think better for now just to um, do girls who are just stationary for now. Okay. Just because it's a lot easier. Mm -hmm. There'll be somewhere where the, stu uh, the train station is yeah. just here. Like, what's a realistic rate, like, for, like say, from 10 girls yeah. approached? How um, many would give a phone number? For me, mm. um, it's somewhere between. I say on a decent day between two to three, two to three. sometimes four. That's not bad. Uh, well. On a bad day or mm. on a mediocre day, I say one. Mm. But obviously, there's still going to be times where you get ten blowouts in a yeah, row. Yeah, of course, of course. Um, yeah. There's a girl there with the suitcase. She'd be a good one to do. I'll be right oh, next okay. to you. Just right. get pay her a comf uh, compliment, okay. and then um, mm, okay. yeah, just say whatever mm. afterwards. Oh, okay. Excuse me. Just wanted to tell you you look really nice. Oh, thank you. What's your name? Hannah. I'm Reda, nice to meet Hi, you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Have a nice day. And you. Bye bye. <laughs> brilliant. See, that's brilliant. So, again, it's like you can see that she's like super happy that yeah, you like, did that. Yeah. And, uh, okay, she was a little bit shocked at the beginning, but, yeah. you know, it's like, you know, inevitably, you know, you caught her off guard, but it was nothing but a positive interaction. Yeah, yeah. And now you're probably feeling a bit more comfortable mm -hmm. now with it. See if there's anyone here. We'll do the same thing again a few more times. Mm -hmm. But yeah, in terms of um, you know success rate with numbers, again, it's one of those things you shouldn't really care about because oh, once yeah. you become yeah so fixated on that, it, it becomes detrimental to your. Like how to say? Yeah, uh, you become so focused yeah. on the objective rather than actually enjoying mm -hmm. the actual process, the process itself. Yeah, yeah. No, it's amazing. You got to just uh, enjoy it and regardless mm -hmm. of the outcome. I mean, often what I do, mm -hmm. I always go out with like you know, zero um, expectations Expect yeah, and, yeah. you know, when I, when I, I, go, I almost go in there expecting no numbers or anything mm -hmm. whatsoever at all yeah. and, I d and that helps you, um, you know, develop a, uh, like a not giving a fuck attitude okay. and once you have that, you know, inevitably you'll become more attractive yeah, anyway. Yeah, of course, yeah, yeah, not caring. I know what yeah, you mean, it's yeah. all It's all about not giving usually a Usually, like, how to say, <laughs> that's usually my game plan, yeah. but if I date yeah. a girl, but like how to say, if I go out on a date with a girl or something, you exactly, know, exactly, yeah. Yeah. The best result is when you're in a happy place mentally and mm. once you combine that with not giving a fuck, yeah. Yeah, then yeah, you'll right. be like in a really good place. Mm. Mm. A lot of it's kind of psychological and it goes yeah, above and beyond, you know, pick up. But yeah, again, yeah. It's, no, if no, you no. can do that, mm. yeah. Mm. Well, good part is that I've been, how to say, this part, like I've been training on it for a long time, you know, like, like self-improvement. Yeah, from, yeah, yeah, because yeah. I can tell, like, I, you know, having watched your videos and yeah. also just meeting you now, mm. like, you, you are a quite confident, confident guy. Yeah, yeah. So, like, you've definitely got, mm. you know, shitloads of potential. Mm. 
And obviously, most of the clients that I've had before, they, they you know, they, they were like um, struggling a lot with the fear and the anxiety yeah. aspect, which you don't seem to have too much of. Oh. You're, you, you know, you're able to. For go me, just in. to know that push. <laughs> like yeah, that. You, you need a little bit of push. Yeah, that's, that's normal. Like, yeah, yeah. But you know, I've been, I've had people who are like, who wouldn't have been able to just go up to someone and give them a compliment. Really? Yeah, 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 yeah. So what? You're already kind of, you know, at a very good level already. I would yeah, say. Yeah. Well. Uh, so you can do these two, maybe. Um, I mean, if there's anyone you find, yeah, okay. you can, I mean, if there's anyone you particularly find attractive, then from the back, yeah, 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 that has to be so much. Um, uh, let's maybe see. these two here. I don't know if you're comfortable doing two, or just want to stick to ones at the moment. Um, Doesn't matter as long as they're attractive. Okay. Uh, Where are they it should be um, should be somewhere around here. Wow. Yeah, wait. Excuse me, just wanted to tell you I really like your hat. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so that was good. You approached a group. That's, yeah. That takes a lot. There would have been five there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I would have got more, but yeah. No, that was really good. I mean, a lot of uh, you know people new to this wouldn't be able to approach a group like that. So well done. Um, maybe this girl here in the what? red. I don't know if she's attractive. I don't know if you find her attractive. Uh, um, I think she's young, man. Is she a bit too young? It might be a bit too young. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, I think she's like with a bit too young. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Um, so yeah, again, what you want to try and do is just find a girl who's just stationary me by herself. Yeah, yeah. That way, it makes it a lot easier mm -hmm. to approach her. And um, yeah, just do the initial compliment, and then just ask her any bunch of questions you okay. want, and just have a little mini conversation, and then okay. eject whenever you feel like. All right. Yeah. And that's the thing about ejecting because that's. That's, I think, spontaneous reaction that you have when you yeah. start it. Like, like, for example, I spoke with the one earlier. I really wanted to eject, although it was, you know, like, yeah. just smiling and everything. So, yeah, yeah that's yeah. also a thing to go past through. Yeah. So, oftentimes, uh, you know, beginners, when they're doing these approaches, mm. they eject themselves too early because they won't yeah. have things to say or yeah. they just number close a bit yeah. too early. Yeah. But, um, well, for now, it's, mm. it's, it's good because, we're, you know, we're just trying to mm. get you comfortable okay. with just doing the approaches. We're not even worried about the, you know, mm -hmm. the conversation yeah, or no, anything no. yet. Yeah. What do you think about like that London game model with yeah. like all the stats and everything? Uh, well, the day, the day game, the London day game model. Um, basically, I have a few problems with it, but I also okay. think there's some aspects of it which are good. Mm -hmm. I'll actually be um, advocating some of that even today's session, at least okay. the the uh, like the beginning parts of it. Yeah. Um, there's some aspects of it. I mean, I don't know how much you know of it. Well, if I know like the how to say it, like that beginner video about like that Tom Torero did or yeah, something. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like there is like you know like explaining the model and like stands like two beginners something like that to do yeah. it. Yeah. So that's what I've seen. So basically, like instead, like I would go and asking her name, I would ask her, "You look very, yeah, you know, like yeah, make yeah. an accusation or like, something." Yeah, exactly. From there, so that, to, yeah. yeah, I mean, basically, overall, I think it's really good for beginners okay. uh, in terms of having some form of structure to fall back on. Yeah. But I still think that um, you shouldn't kind of become too over reliant, reliant on it on and it. make okay. your conversations all yeah. structured because I think I don't think you know successful conversation has got like a pre-planned yeah. structure to yeah. it. I understand. It's a bit I of a paradox in a way because mm -hmm. although it is helpful for beginners to have some form of structure, you mm -hmm. want to kind of deviate. Yeah, from the structure yeah, a little yeah. bit and have mm -hmm. a bit of improvisation. Yeah. Um, having said that, I think like doing the initial direct opener mm -hmm. is great, okay. and then following up with an assumption, doing the stacking assumptions. Stacking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's really good. Mm -hmm. um, and then obviously after that, you're then combining the vibing with the mm -hmm. investing, yeah. which is um, basically doing the fun teasy stuff, mm -hmm. the flirty stuff, okay. with the just general chit chat yeah, stuff, yeah, yeah. having yeah. rapport. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think that's important, but you don't have to have it as so much structure. So I think I understand, like yeah. a lot of these like um, 
you know, pick up guys mm -hmm. would advocate, oh, you need to spend X amount of time doing I'm the doing, vibe. Yeah, and once you've moved that, you've done that, yeah. you move on to this. I, I don't think, think yeah. I don't think it's like that structured. Yeah, I think yeah, it's yeah. It, it can be yeah. um, interwoven. So I think even that structure is really just for the beginning or the beginners. Like first, I don't know, 20, 50 approaches maybe. Yeah. Then after, I think freestyling is much better. Like yeah, I mean, for me, I, I always, pretty much always freestyle it. Mm, yeah, I've um, seen. Yeah, I've seen yeah. like in your videos, like you don't have like certain open or something, you just start yeah. and go with the flow really. Yeah, I mean I always have like, because basically there is obviously the issue of you're inevitably going to have points where you kind of run out of things to say, mm. at which point you need to have some, you know, continue a conversation yeah. to at least hit about, you know, four or five minutes ideally. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so there's, you know, I always have like things in my mind which I can just apply to almost any interaction and I'll, I'll go through all that with you a bit later. Mm -hmm. Um, oh, let's see. There's no, there's no girls just standing <laughs> around by themselves. It's kind of annoying. Um, uh, let's just, let's just continue going. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes early on a Sunday it can be a bit shitty. Yeah, well, it's not. Yeah. But later on we'll go through how to do it with the ones that are walking. What about her? Do you find her attractive in glasses? Uh, it's okay. Yeah. Hi there. Excuse me? Just wanted to tell you look really nice today. Oh, What's your name? My name is Bianca. Bianca? Yes. Oh, that is an uh, Italian name. Yes. Okay, nice to meet you. I'm from Morocco. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Reda. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you a tourist here? No, no, I live here. No. You live here? Okay, that's nice. I love your accent. I think Italian accent is the most sexiest yeah, ever. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's nice. That's nice. Have a good day then. Bye bye. That was brilliant. That was absolutely brilliant. That was that was good. That was like the foundation of a solid approach yeah, right yeah, there. Yeah. Obviously, um, it was super friendly. She mm. she actually reacted super well mm. and was actually giving you a bit of stuff to work with, yeah. which is good. You even asked me my name, and you didn't even heard that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So that's really good. Uh, that's brilliant. See, like you're already at a point now. Like you're you're already quite you know good at. Mm. at being able to do a natural approach now, yeah. I think. Um, what I saw is that, like, how to say, anxiety depends also on the hotness of the girl. Like, this yeah. one, she was like, I don't know, for me, it's like seven, maybe. Okay, you know? so yeah. do, do, you, do you find you'd be a bit slightly intimidated by a hot, super hot girl? Yeah, I think the first few seconds, because I've dated, yeah, yeah. like, I've dated quite a lot of hot women, so that's not a problem for me, but not opening them, you know, like, usually yeah. I met in a club or something or through friends, and then, yeah, yeah I feel confident. Okay. But, to approach them, that's the trick, you know. Okay. Well, I think for now, mm -hmm. um, if you see one stationary or we see one stationary, we can yeah. just do another approach similar to that. Okay. Or, or what we can do is mm -hmm. we can, uh, if you see one that's actually walking, okay. we can try to do a front stop on them. All right. And do the same thing. Okay. So basically, do you, have you got any experience with uh, knowing anything about the front stop? Or should I just explain I've that? I've seen that, like the one that you should, yeah. That's a bit intimidating though. So, yeah. uh, like you should always keep a distance, yeah. I know, but... So essentially, I'll just come up, okay, imagine you're the girl, just okay. imagine you're walking along there. All right. So you're, you're walking, and imagine I'm, I'm you, okay, I'm going to yeah, do the yeah. approach. So it'd be something essentially like this. So you give enough distance and you stop them like bang right. on, one on like okay. that, and then you begin from there. Will she not think that I'm rubbing them or something? <laughs> no. Yeah. Basically, no, she'll just think it's like a really like, almost, it always comes across as if there's like an emergency situation. Okay. And it, and, but it, it's really good because it, it really displays your conviction about having to really fucking stop her because in okay. London, especially important in London, for example, a girl that's walking at that sort of pace, yeah. you you would have to do that you in order to get them to stop. Because okay. if you're pushing from the side or like that, excuse me, no, okay. yeah, more yeah, likely yeah. just yeah, to walk yeah, off yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So if we just practice doing that for now, let's see. Um, and again, don't worry about the conversation. Just okay. completely, just do the okay. opening compliment and then just ask a bunch of questions, whatever okay. comes to your mind, okay. and eject whenever you want. Mm. Um, I'm gonna just turn your thing on actually now. So okay, I just. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So I'm not gonna, I'm gonna try and. You can just do this uh, one obviously by yourself. Okay. And I'll be able to hear you. Are you actually familiar with this area at little all? Bit, yeah. A little bit, like yeah. Like I've been a few times. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, the difference obviously between approaching in London and Cambridge, mm. um, obviously there are going to be a few differences. The main one, of course, being that Cambridge is less, I presume, yeah. less crowded, <laughs> yeah. but also more uh, relaxed. Yeah. It's not as chaotic sure. as London, yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. as busy, yeah. it's not as mm. everyone constantly in a rush. Mm. It's, more, it's more of a village-y kind of a feel. Yeah, exactly. So, a lot of the stuff that you'll be doing here mm. is almost like, in some cases, going to be like a more hardcore version of what you'll experience there. It's, it's actually, in some cases, a lot easier. You okay. can, a lot of the time, you know, when you're doing approaches in Cambridge, what you'll find is that you can literally just approach a girl from the side almost, and you don't okay. have to do a you perfect have, front okay. stop. All oh, right. At least that's what I've experienced when I've yeah, yeah. done it outside oh, of London. Yeah, yeah. Just because a, a lot of areas are just way more relaxed, really. Mm. I don't know. Uh, she's by herself, just standing. I don't know if. Where? Like her there. I don't know if you find her attractive. I don't know. Am I blind? Though? Oh, yeah. She may be a bit kind old. Of in the 40s, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Hi, man. What's going on today? Okay. Excuse oh me? God. Just want to tell you you look really nice today. I said you look really nice today. <laughs> Yeah, that was good. Yeah. Huh? Obviously, yeah, that's, that's great. That's good. <laughs> Gripped out a bit. Yeah, no, that's. It, it's not even that. It's just like you know, sometimes, yeah. a lot of the time, girls are just not going to be in the yeah, right yeah. frame of mind to actually stop yeah. and talk. Yeah, yeah. Um, but you know, what you did was great. Yeah. Well, it was actually perfect. A lot of girls are just not approachable. A lot will just literally just walk off walk as soon up, as you yeah. say that yeah, the yeah. initial opener. Mm. Happens to me. Happens to everyone all the time. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Okay, you could do her. Just try yeah. and stop her. The one in the see the brunette. Oh, she's with her friend. Yeah. Okay, never mind. I think she's part of a massive group, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 uh. I seem to be attracted more to girls that already have boyfriends. Yeah, no, I find that as well. It's, uh, I find that as well. Like. Yeah, I don't know why. I don't know if they would be on their own if they would be attracted to them or just because the boyfriend is there. No, it's know. just like a lot of the hottest girls are always with their boyfriends. Yeah. And a lot of the hottest girls will actually have boyfriends anyway. Yeah, of course. Yeah, uh, which is... yeah they're there. Like, let's see. Uh, okay. Sorry. Excuse me, just want to tell you look really nice today. Thank you. <laughs> See, that's fine, that's good. Yeah, Obviously, it's a busy area, yeah, so that's, it, that's the why they're, it's hard to... They're gonna, it's Love they were too, so I didn't yeah, know how to... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, it's perfect, that's good. So we're not, we're, yeah, we're just trying to get comfortable doing this. Wait. Yep. How old do you think that blonde Japanese girl is there? Like, in the entrance, do you think like she's over 16 or something? Which one? The one sitting there, wait, come with me. The one with the tie. Oh, right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah I Do think, you think she's, like fine. she's in age? I think so, yeah. Yeah, 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 I yeah. think so. Okay. Excuse me, just want to tell you you look really nice today. What's your name? Chris. Chris, nice to meet you. This guy. So, are you here as a tourist or? Sorry? Are you a tourist? No, I study here. You study here. I like your robe. Like, I don't even know what it is, but it, it looks great. <laughs> and the shoes, yeah. <laughs> That's nice. And there. Uh, have a good day. Thank you. Bye. Yeah, that was great. Yeah. Really good. Um, your, I'd say like your body language mm. and your voice projection is spot on. Okay. Which is very, very rarely the case. Really? Okay. Yeah, okay. For, for like, um, you know, a beginner that I'm mm. coaching, it's very, very rarely the case. Normally, you know, they're talking too quiet or their okay. body language is a bit off. Mm. But yours is actually solid. So that's great. Uh, it's already a really good... Um, you're already at a really good point now. Um, uh, uh, sometimes I feel that I talk too fast. Like for now, I did, like, no, it wasn't too no, fast. No. Okay. No. It was solid. Mm -hmm. Your pace of speech was good. Mm -hmm. um, and I think from what I can hear in terms of your voice projection, that's mm -hmm. also good as well. Because okay. obviously when you're um, in London, when it's you know, so fucking noisy, you do yeah, have yeah. to raise your voice a bit. Of course, and yeah. I know some guys I've coached before yeah, struggle yeah, with that. Yeah. Wait, um, Wait, so so yeah, so now phone, yeah. Uh, okay. we'll do girls who are stationary and walking. Okay. So trying to do the front stop mm -hmm. this time. Okay. And what we can do now is if 
Okay, so we want to do a bit of assumption stacking, okay? Okay. After the initial compliment. Look, okay, okay. So what we can do is, just to keep it super, super basic and okay. super easy, um, you can just limit it to two options. Mm -hmm. um, if she's got brunette hair, just say, I thought you looked... Uh, okay, let's make it three options. Okay. Um, if she's got brunette hair, just say, I thought you'd be English. If she's white okay. and she's got uh, brunette hair, just say, I thought you'd be English. Mm -hmm. um, if she's got blonde hair, just say, I thought you looked... Scandinavian. Okay. And if she's tanned, I thought you looked Spanish. Okay. And then, most likely, she's not going to be any of those. Okay. She's like, oh no, I'm actually um, Russian yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah, okay, and then okay. you'd be like, oh okay. And then try and sort of develop a conversation develop from, that. from that. Just keep okay. it uh, that simple for now. Okay. And then we can develop a bit more later. All right. So that's just because obviously the, the theory obviously is that in terms of doing stacking, mm. assumption stacking, yeah, it's just like a, it's, to, it's a yeah. way to kind of develop a conversation okay. out of nothing mm. without mm. it being too contrived like, oh, yeah, where yeah, are you yeah. from? Mm. And like mm. having like loads of questions being asked. Okay. And if she's not too comfortable with that, she might just give you one word re uh, responses, then you end mm. up asking another question, then it just ends up being kind of in an interview kind of okay. mode, which isn't ideal. Um, you'll try it with this one with the, uh, the grey. Yeah, if you want. Earlier. It's a nice easy one. Yeah. It's lo lots of space. You can do a very calm approach. But remember, because mm -hmm. it's blonde hair, mm -hmm. to okay. be like, oh, I thought you might be Scandinavian because of your blonde hair. Alright. Yeah, excuse me. Just want to tell you you look really nice today. You look very Scandinavian. No worries, that's good. Yeah. Um, okay, so a few things just to note there. Mm. When they're doing the front stop, you kind of Isn't, approach her. Yeah, yeah. I sideways, mean, sometimes yeah. when it's super busy, mm. you, you can you can only do it on, on, like a yeah, semi sideways yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. When it's yeah. like this, yeah. give yourself enough space and do the full yeah, on. Yeah, so that one. I didn't do yeah. enough. Yeah, yeah. Try so and do like I a full on. Went too close. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, if she walks off, don't worry about it. Yeah. It's like completely normal. Uh, and. Um, one other thing, although your, your body language is overall brilliant and excellent, mm -hmm. you're kind of uh, leaning, leaning a bit, yeah, okay. kind of going a bit like this. Try and like just be straight okay. and hold your ground okay. and be like, because yeah, okay. if, yeah you'll, you'll notice yeah, that yeah. if you just keep your your, dis, your stand your ground like that, plant your feet like that, yeah. just be like that, mm. back straight, and just okay. be, just talking to her kind of normally like that, okay. rather than just kind of like that All kind right. of thing, yeah. 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 It's good that you're smiling as well. Mm -hmm. um, that's that's good because it gets off, uh, you know, friendly vibe. Um, I would say, okay, just for now, just keep it like that. Actually, it's fine. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, now we're, we're on a street where there'll be shitloads of. Um, okay. Can actually go up here. Actually. That? That way? Uh, yeah. Might as well. Okay. Cheers for watching. If you'd be interested in one-to-one -one coaching with me where we'll go out in public and work on your approaching girls or more generally with your social confidence, please visit my website ed-game.com.